My dear Millie. Conrad. So good of you to come. My nephew's getting married. I consider it an honor to be asked to give him away. You're looking better than ever. Thanks, Conrad. You always knew the right thing to say. You haven't changed much yourself. Thank you. Let me get your luggage. Last time I saw Ben was about 10, 12 years ago. I know he didn't come for Ruth's funeral. What's he like? He has gotten taller, but he hasn't put on much weight. And Yvonne, how is she? She's fine. Completely taken up with the church now. That's quite strange. The last time I saw her, she was into parties and boyfriends. She changed. Uh, probably a phase she's going through. I remember when I was 16, I wanted to be a missionary in Africa. <laughs> what about you, Conrad? Found anyone as yet? I've been too busy for that. You? Since my divorce, I vowed I'd never get married again. But I've been tempted a couple of times. What are you afraid of? I don't want to give up my independence. And men, as a rule, don't like independent women. I know for a fact, you didn't. No! Pretty good, Cindy. The rest of you will have to catch on now. Tomorrow, we do some stats, some finishing, and some battle passing. That's it for today. Ben, this is your Aunt Millie. I don't know if you remember her. I can't say that I do. I certainly would never have recognized you, Ben. She insisted on seeing you today. You'll drop by, won't you? Sure. And be sure to bring Teresa. Sure, sure, I do that. Seeing you all grown up and about to get married and become a father makes me think I'm getting old. Aunt Millie, you don't look a day over 60. <laughs> I see you've taken after your father. See you, son. Mr. White, how oh, nice of you to drop by. Have a seat, please. Mm. 
Dinner for two? We just dropped in for a drink. This is Mrs. Mop. My pleasure, madame. My name is Francisco Luis Fernando Alonso Garcia Sanchez. But you can call me Chico. Delighted, Chico. What would you like? What do you have? Every drink you can think of. I have a well-stocked bar. In that case, I'll have a Bloody Mary. Wouldn't you prefer rum and coconut water? I don't think so. I prefer the Bloody Mary. And we are out of vodka. <laughs> I see. Whatever you have then. I'll have the same. Whatever you have. Gin and tonic, rum and coconut water, scotch and soda. Make your choice. We'll have the rum. I won't be a second. It's quite a nice little place. This is where we are having the reception. Chico seems a good enough chap. I think he's a cook. I won't believe that. I won't trust him further than I can spit. I'm sure you don't mind if I join you. No, well, actually... Of course not. Cheers. You're a stranger here, aren't you? Yes, I am. Sort of. I was born here, but I was abroad for some time. How long are you planning to stay? As long as possible. Whenever I come to Tobago, I never want to leave. Why don't you keep her here? Excuse me, please. Hi, Doc. That's you. Mutual. Care to join me, Doctor? This is Mrs. Morgan, my sister in law. Delighted, Mrs. Morgan. Dr. Reed and I got to know each other when Yvonne spent a few days at the hospital some time ago. I see you found my spot. Sort of. I come here almost every night after dinner. Chico keeps me amused. It's my special. Rum and olive juice. <laughs> I heard of all kinds of mixtures, but that's the first time I heard that one. It's my invention. You ought to try it. I might one of these days. <laughs> Guaranteed to lift your spirits. Doctor's word. Cheers. How are your plans for the wedding going? Everything is fine, I think. I love to bigger weddings. All those in my day were better. I think so too. I've started a bit of research on the old customs in Tobago. Quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Glenda, who that? It's me, your sister Nora. And why are you staying outside for Comina? Somehow everything. Okay. I'm really surprised to see you, you know. The boy's getting big. Say good night to all the Auntie Nora. Night, Auntie Nora. You want anything to eat? No, I eat on the boat. Not me on the boat, no. You gonna rock out my liver. It was a nice ride. A sailor fella gave me a cabin to sleep in. What you was doing in the sailor cabin, Nora? Nothing. He come and try to lie down with me. But I tell him I'm sick, you know what I mean? So he asked me if he could come and check me out when he come up next week. I tell him yes. So you tell him that he could come and look for your hair? You think I'm stupid? I tell him I'm living in Buku, in the first board house, on the first side street, on the left hand side of the Buku menu. You mustn't do that, Nora. Somebody will bust your mouth. This mouth is so easy to bust. So where you come from? I hear about tiny big wedding. So I said let me come up and get your hair. So how long you intend to stay? Just a few days. Last time you come for two days, you end up spending two months. 
that was different. I know. You did thief your man money and he was looking for you. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble like that again. Take all your marbles and go inside. 